Good morning. This is Mr. Eshelman. It's Friday, May 15th, 2020. As we wrap up the week, let's think back on all the great things we accomplished and look towards the things that we have yet to accomplish today so that we can fig, uh, finish the week strong. And believe it or not, we're about halfway through May. And after this week, there's only about two weeks of school left until summer vacation. So let's not only finish out this week strong and today's strong, but let's finish out the year on a positive note and accomplish the things that we can accomplish, maybe even go the extra mile and um, try to get ourselves in good position for when we come back to school in our next grade. So keep up the good work, keep working hard, and uh, we'll get you where you need to be. Birthdays today, let's celebrate. Wyatt and Annabella have birthdays today. Wyatt's a first grader and Annabella is a fourth grader. And tomorrow's birthdays for Saturday, we have four Denver birthdays. First grader Trinity has a birthday tomorrow. And three staff members, Mrs. Young, Mrs. Colbert, and Mrs. Horst have birthdays as well. So happy birthday to all of them. And on May 17th, which is Sunday, there are no Denver Elementary School birthdays. Our quote of the day comes from a person that we've seen on the morning announcements before, Albert Einstein. He was a very smart guy, made a lot of important discoveries. So a lot of the things that he said are remembered. This one was a little bit different because it had to do with nature, although it's a, it's a science. Albert Einstein was known for being a physicist as much as anything, whereas nature is um, a little bit of a different kind of science, but they're all connected. So he said, we still do not know one thousandth of one percent of what nature has revealed to us. One thousandth of one percent is not very much. So Albert Einstein, very smart man, said, we've got a lot to learn about nature. And I take that quote as a challenge. So as I go throughout the day and throughout the weekend, and as we get into these nice days and uh, warm weather, nice weather in the summer, to, I take it as a challenge to get outside, enjoy nature, observe what's going on out there, and be able to um, add a little bit to that one thousandth of one percent that Albert Einstein says that we know so that we can be a little bit more knowledgeable about all the things going on around us. So our question of the day is a little bit more of a task for the day, which kind of goes along with what Albert Einstein was saying. Uh, there's a picture on the screen, and I'm asking you to write a caption for this picture. So a caption is usually a, a short sentence or a statement that describes the picture and says a little bit about it. And in this case, we don't want you to forget things like capital at the beginning, period, question mark, exclamation point at the end. And when you're a writer, you want to be descriptive when talking about things like nature and like the photograph that you see on the screen. So we can think of our five senses. What do we see, smell, hear, feel, and taste? Now, I know what you might say. That's a picture. I can't smell it. I mean, I guess you could, but that might be a little strange if somebody sees you smelling your computer screen or iPad screen. You might not be able to hear anything from the picture, although you might hear sounds outside while you're watching this or in your house. You, can, you can't really feel it because you're not there and you taste and don't try to taste it. And that just would not be good. However, there is an opportunity I put on the side that this picture was taken not very far from where you live on the conservation trail at Middle Creek, which kind of starts up behind the visitor center parking lot at Middle Creek. So it's not far away. And if you have the opportunity, in the next couple of days or weeks, you could get out there and try this hike. And you could probably take a similar picture to the one I took overlooking the lake there. And then you might actually be able to smell, hear, feel things. I wouldn't taste anything unless you take your own snack along with you. Don't taste anything that you find um, from nature while you're there. So if you have the opportunity to go there, you could see this picture with your own two eyes, and it's probably only about maybe 10 or 15 minutes um, from where you live. So in the meantime, use the picture to imagine what you might see, smell, hear, or feel there as you are writing a caption for this picture. What I'd like to do is put this picture back up next week with some of your captions and give you credit for the ideas that you come up with on next week's announcements. And 
couple jokes for today. The first one was um, sent to me by one of our third grade friends. That's why there's a picture of a lion on the screen. It says, why did the lion cross the road? To get to the other pride. And as you might know, a pride is a group of lions. And the second joke, on what day of the week are most twins born? Two's day, because a twin is two. And when I thought back on that, I have twin daughters, and they were actually born on Tuesday. Although I don't know if this is a fact, that twins are mostly born on Tuesday. day. But my twins were actually born on Tuesday. So let's stand up and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance for the last time this week. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So finish the week strong, enjoy your weekend, get some exercise, enjoy the warm, nice weather, and take care of yourself and be safe while you're out there. And we'll see you back here on Monday for another week of at-home learning. Have a great weekend and have a great Friday.